I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another video on pairs of lines and bisectors. The equation here is find equation of the angle bisectors between the lines 3x plus 4y minus 5 equals to 0 and 12x plus 5y minus 7 equals to 0. I've kind of written it in a short form. Angle bisector I really mean is if there are two lines. So let me just just sketch two lines in general. Let's say we have two lines like this, right? So in that case, they will intersect somewhere. We are assuming them not to be parallel lines, as the case is given here. Then angle bisector is the angle which they make, lines bisecting this angle. So that kind of a line we are interested in finding. And always you can have two angle bisectors. So strictly speaking, we are talking about bisectors of the pair of lines that's the whole idea one of them is referred to as acute angle bisector the other one is obtuse angle bisector right so this is obtuse angle bisector and this one is acute angle okay anyway you also know the formula of uh, distance from a point to the line so the shortest distance is always normal to the line uh, these distances should be equal when it is on the bisector so what we will do is we'll find distance with line 1 and distance with line 2 and equate them to equal and then get the equation of the angle bisector that's the whole uh, idea here right so let's begin with the formula itself uh, if the equation of the line is given in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to 0, then uh, any point p x y distance will be written as d is equals to absolute value of d's distance is always positive ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by square root of a square plus b square the coefficients of x and y correct so that is the formula which we are going to apply uh, so let's uh, assume a point x y on the line and we'll see what is the distance of point x y from line l1 and l2 and we'll equate them right that's the whole idea so the distance of point p which is being represented as x y from the first line, let's say 3x plus 4y minus 5 equals to 0, should be how much? That should be equals to 3x plus 4y minus 5 divided by square root of 3 square plus 4 square. Absolute value, correct? And that should be equal to square root, uh, absolute value of <coughs> from 12x plus 5y minus 7 divided by square root of 12 square plus 5 square correct so we are saying angle bisector means same distance away from both the lines so these distances should be equal so now we could actually simplify this a bit we get 3x plus 4y minus 5 divided by 3 and 4 these are perfect trinomials 3 square plus 4 square is equals to 5 square. So you know this is 5. Same case here is the equations have been selected so that we get a good number here, right? So that is 12 square plus 5 square square is 13. And in the numerator, we get 12x plus 5y minus 7, right? So well when it is within the absolute function this could be plus or minus that's the whole idea and that gives you these two equations correct so we'll now cross multiply and we'll get 13 times 3x plus 4y minus 5 equals to plus minus 5 times 12x plus 5y minus 7 open the bracket 13 times 3 is 39 X times 4 is plus 52 Y minus that is 15 5 1 and 65 is equals to 
plus minus let me put them in brackets 5 times 12 60x plus 25y minus 35 correct so that gives rise to two different equations one with plus sign and one with the minus sign and these corresponds to our equation of lines right so so that is how we could actually get both the equations so we can bring these terms to one side and solve so let's do it on the right side now so we have 3x 39x let me write down here 39x plus 52y minus 65 so if I use the plus term and bring these on the left side uh, then what we get we get minus 60 okay so we get minus 60x minus 25x 25y and plus 35 equals to 0 right so that becomes one equation so we can simplify this equation combining the like terms correct so so if I do 39 minus 60 that gives us 21 with a negative value minus 21 X 52 uh, 52 minus 25 gives us uh, so gives us plus 12 7 27 right okay so it gives us 27 y and minus 65 plus 35 gives us minus 30 equals to 0 we can take uh, minus 3 common let me write down like this minus 3 common so we get 7x plus 9y I mean sorry minus 9y plus 30 equals to 0 so we get our equation as 7x minus 9y plus 30 equals to 0 so we get one of our equations as 7x plus 9y plus 30 equals to 0 for getting the second equation let me take this minus term this time is it okay so I'll write down here 39 I could do that okay 39x plus 52y minus 65 so this time when we bring over since I'm taking minus they remain with the same sign so we have plus 60x plus 25y minus 35 equals to 0 39 <coughs> 39 uh, plus 60 will give us uh, let's say uh, uh, 99x okay so we get 99x 52y plus 25 gives us 77y and the constant minus uh, 65 and minus 35 gives us 100 equals to 0 so that becomes the second equation for us is it okay So these are the two equations which give us the angle bisectors for the intersecting lines. Um, you can make out which one is obtuse angle bisector and which one is the acute angle bisector also. We do have a formula which helps us in this regard but sometimes our figure can also help you out in that regard. So uh, anyway, the, we'll not discuss formula here we'll discuss that I'll provide you with a link with that formula so anyway so I hope you understand and appreciate how to solve such questions remember you could get two equations and so uh, one could be bisecting the acute angle the other one obtuse angle uh, think about it how do we decide which one is acute angle and which one is obtuse angle so that's the question for you to answer I hope it helps you to understand the topic. If you like, that would be great. Feel free to post comments and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.